All right. Shalom. Kahala. Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shah. Bahashem. Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom. Salute to the hopefully elect. Uh, this video is not going to be too long. I'm just going on a spirit. Um, I was uh, looking, searching through videos, and uh, I watched this uh, this guy video, Dennis Sperling. He had some pretty good videos. Um, he'd be making um, good content. So I um, happened to uh, go across his community. His community post popped up on um, my timeline, you know, because I'm subscribed to him. And um, I read it, you know, uh, you know, Kanye or Ye, he's going through this controversy right now. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and read it. It says, I know I had an argument with somebody on my show last night about this very subject. Kanye West was never, never worth one eleven billion dollars. If he was worth eleven billion, and he had eleven billion in the bank, they wouldn't be able to take it take it back. And uh, that's right. You know, um, I agree. You know, uh, a lot of these entertainers they um, they give them net worth, net worth, and they pump these celebrities up. You know, for um, advertisement purposes and. Um, all kinds of stuff, but they make it seem that they are in a better position than they are. And we know um, in the system, this system is all um, it's, it's all lies, you know, it's, it's ran by Satan, you know, which the Heavenly Father control that. But I'm going to get to the point. So I'm going to read on. It says he got 11 billion in potential now that Adidas um, a cut ties with him, his value is worth 400 million and it's probably not even worth that. You know, a lot of these, uh, people like Kanye and all that, they got credit, but cause the elites, they got a cap on, they're nothing but, um, wage slaves or higher paid slaves. You see, hence the reason, one of the reasons why Kanye is, um, you know, exposing certain things. And we've been saying these things that Kanye saying, uh, starting with the elders, elders and apostles on down. You know, all the brothers uh, have been saying this information. Um, so reading on, it says, so I'm agreeing with uh, Dennis Sperling saying so far, uh, it says, now that Adidas a cut ties with him, his value is worth $400 million. And these... Uh, I'm going to say Amalek or Amalekites run everything, you know, they are the, uh, our, our enemy, you know, Esau, right? Which is a so-called white man. They are running things, uh, jo going to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. One of my favorite scriptures and one that I can memorize. So reading on, it says, and, and it will continue to drop. It says, now, here's the statement that I had to correct Mr. Dennis Sperling. He made this statement. It says, the Lord giveth and the devil come and take it away. Uh, now, so I, um, it says Kanye West is no longer a billionaire after Adidas cut ties with him for his report. And I, I believe this is my belief. I, he he was, was never a billionaire to begin with. You know, they throw these uh, numbers on these uh, athletes and entertainers and celebrities to to misguide you jakes out there in the world to have you uh, give you an illusion. Right. Because America is just a big illusion. So it says Kanye West is no longer a billionaire at the Adidas cut ties with him. Forbes report. So I left a comment to Mr. De Dennis Sperlin. You know, you know, we defending the gospel, you know, and it's all well, it's all well and done. You know, um, I have nothing against Miss, Mr. Dennis Sperling, but we are defenders of the gospel. So if an issue come up, we have to correct it. 
you know, Lord, uh, Lord willing, we are the men of the Lord. So I uh, left a comment. I said, sorry, uh, sorry, Dennis, but I have to correct you on your statement. It says, you said the Lord giveth and the devil taketh away. Now, to an extent, you know, he I know his, his meaning, but we got to be a little bit more specific because people out, in, um, especially in a Christian world, they think that because uh, they think that the devil has um, authority to do what the Heavenly Father get, uh, go against his will. And that's far from the truth, you know, as I was raised in um, in a lot of other people was raised in these uh, Jehovah Witness or Jehovah Witness camps or Christian churches, Catholic churches, Roman Catholic churches, um, you know, all that ideology, you know, the Mormons, all that, you know, all the you see a church on every corner in the hood. So, um. They would have you think that Satan actually is a, opposed to the most high. And, and that's and that's false. And I'm going to prove it as I bring out uh, these scripts. I got a couple of scriptures lined up. So I, I left. Um, I said. I said, you said the Lord giveth and the devil taketh away. But the scripture says the Lord giveth and the Lord take away, take away. Satan can't do anything without the Lord's authority. And I left the, uh, a scripture. This is first Samuel's chapter two and verse six. It says the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Listen to this. And here's the point. It says the Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lift up. So, yeah, so I left that comment to correct Mr. You know, Sperlins. Um, so I got some um, scriptures lined up, a couple more scriptures to um, back up what I'm saying in the, in the article. So I'm going to go to the blue letter. All right. I'm at the blue letter. Um, yeah, and if you happen to see this uh, video, Mr. Mr. Sperlins, um, this is all love, you know. We when when we correct our uh, cause cause you're whether you notice or not, you're 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 a Hebrew Israelite as well, you know. Um this is the time where the Heavenly Father and the Son is waking our people up out of that deep sleep we had in America, which is Babylon the Great. You know, the so called blacks and Hispanic, Hispanics in America are the true biblical Israelites, Hebrew Israelites. You come from um, the chosen vessel of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the stock, you know, the seed, you know. So you're, you're part of that that flock too if, you know, you wake up because the Lord, the scriptures say that um, two-thirds of Israel will be destroyed, but the elect will, will, will uh, be delivered, you know. So it's, it's our nation is 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 rising up, you know. But some of us, a lot of us, are going to be destroyed. Uh, a lot of Israelites are going to be destroyed if they don't wake up and get the heavenly wake up and smell a coffee, as they said, you know. But yeah, this is just a correction, you know. Um, that's real love, you know. A lot of when we um, hear a great millstone, we often uh, you know correct brothers when they going off. You know, even these other other Israelite camps, uh, they get offended, you know, by us uh, correcting them, and they don't understand because they so they they caught up in this this uh, Babylonian way of thinking that they think that we're um, um, serving mischief, but actually we're we're showing them love by correcting them by showing it. The scriptures say, "Shoot they, thy brothers when they go off," you know. Correct thy brothers when they go, go off, you know, when they do wickedness, you know, and, and we correct each other, you know, I often uh, get uh, corrected, you know, uh, how you said, uh, rebuke or approve, you know, and that's love. That's a brother. If a brother see me going off and he correct me, he say, hey, pull me to the side. Hey, man, you something so, 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 or 
you know, so and so. Oh, that's brother showing me love because I'm I'm going off, you know, and he's correcting me. He's showing me, you know, hey, look, you know, so and so and so. Oh, you know, the water. Thank you, brother. The water means thank you in 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 the Hebrew. But let me go on with the um the lesson. Um, this is to further prove, you know, prove my point. Um, this is Ephesians one, and I'll go to. I'll start at uh. Nine. It says, um, having made known unto us the mysteries of his will. See, because for a long time we was uh, raised in the Christian churches. We didn't know the Heavenly Father's will. We didn't know anything about the Lord. You know that he's a so-called black man, that he's the one that put us in captivity and slavery because we was going off. That uh, he's he's set the kingdom up for us, the kingdom to come, that we're going to be the rulers and 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 the kingdom, the elect. We didn't know that. We just thought God was white and we were cursed black and so and so and so and so. On. And Satan, the, the devil, is the one that uh, what Satan does. Uh, he set up as an angel on the left hand side of the heavenly Father, but it's still his will. So the so. Having made known unto us the mysteries of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he had purpose in himself. It says, having made, um, having made, having made known unto us the mystery of his will. See, it was a mystery, but now we know according to his good pleasure, which he had purpose in himself. That in the dispension of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Hamashiach, both which are in heaven and which are in earth, even in him. You know, so uh, the heavenly father and his son control the things that are done heaven and in earth and in heaven, you know. Um, so it says, in whom also we have obtained an, an inheritance, being um predestinated according to his purpose according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will so that says all things so the heavenly father in it, um, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah control all things um, Matthews 10 and 28 I'm going to go to 10 and 28 it says and fear not which him killed which killed the body but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And that hell is talking about, um, that's another lesson, but that's talking about what we are enduring on earth. You know, there's no such thing as a, a hell, a, 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 a devil in a, a, a pit, um, in a fiery pit. No, that everybody go to the spirit world, you know? You come back and forth down to the spirit world every three to four generations. But I, um, I'm going to do a lesson on uh, reincarnation as well, you know. But you go, you carry out your judgment on earth. Um, read knowing it says, are not two sparrows so far farther and one of them fall, um, not fall on the ground without your father? See, so a sparrow, I believe is a bird, will not uh, go to the ground without the heavenly father sanctioning it. See, so he control the birds and every little element out there. Listen to this, verse 30. It says, but the very hairs on your head are numbered. So think about it. Every It's already billions of people, right? So this got this, the Heavenly Father and his son has to be out of this, which they are out of this world. <laughs> but the, t the, 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 the information and the glorious and the power is so beyond our thought, we can't even comprehend it. Because if I look at you, I can't I can't count the hairs on your head. You know how little our hairs are, one hair? But the Heavenly Father said he kept the hairs on your head. <laughs> so that's that's something, ain't it? So but let's read it again. But the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So the Heavenly Father is 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 deep. You know? So if he can count the hairs on your head, imagine. What, what he can count elsewhere, you know? He control every little itty bitty thing, put it like that. He control every every little itty bitty thing and every major thing. So let's go to the next scripture we uh, I had in mind. 
I ain't gonna make this too long, but I'm going, A, it's the Heavenly Father's will. Deuteronomy's 32 and 39. Let's go to uh, 32 and 39. It said, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no, no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So if a guy gets shot, the, the Lord did it, you know? You know, because some people might think, oh, that's Satan. That's Satan the devil. You know, the old Christian, old Christian woman in the church. Oh, the Lord, the Satan did that. No, that's the Heavenly Father did that. The Heavenly Father and His Son, you know. So I hope, I hope, you know, whoever listening to this, because um, I know the brothers, you know, they know this, you know, but, you know, every now and then we get some new people. Um, maybe this uh, video will come across De Dennis Sperlin and he sees this, you know, and that'd, that'd be, that'd be uh, good. Cause I, I did the video, you know, to be edifying for the brothers uh, as well as, you know, Mr. Dennis Sperlin. Um, so we read that. So I got a couple more scriptures to prove, prove, uh, prove, prove the point. Isaiah 66 and 16. It says, for, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So what I was talking about earlier, how the Lord is coming back to destroy uh, two thirds of Israel. That that's that's what it is. Um, you know, just backing that up. So I got one more scripture and then I'm going to close it down. This is Isaiah 40, one of my favorite scriptures, Isaiah 45, I want it 45 and 7. Isaiah 45 and 7. Here it is. Listen to this, uh, brothers. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So, Satan don't control a damn thing. It's the Lord. Now, can Satan do things? Yeah. If the Lord will it, if the Lord allow him to. Satan can't do nothing that the Lord didn't want him to do. And that goes for us as well. We can't do nothing that the Lord ain't want us to do because we're under his will. You know, everything is under the Lord's will. So if you do just the, if you get out your bed, that was the Lord's will. If you fall, that was the Lord's will. You know? So I hope this was edifying to the body. I hope uh, if Dennis Berlin, uh saw this, I hope this was edifying. I hope, I hope this edifying to the elect, most of all. I hope this was edifying to the elect because it's all about the elect. That's what a lot of people don't bring out. The elect. All right? So... Till again, shalom.